Hello my people and welcome back to my YouTube channel Dance Duke is my name. If you're new here please make it a point to subscribe because you are gonna miss if you're not subscribed. Now today I'm in Eastern Uganda, one of the most beautiful parts of this country and to be specific I'm in Tororo district where Tororo Rock is found. As you can see in my background that is Tororo Rock or the Tororo Rock as it is commonly known. Now this is one of the physical features found in eastern Uganda but in Tororo district particularly uh, you know attracting thousands if not millions of you know tourists annually and as a result this place has been able to grow simultaneously over the years over the last couple of years at least people have started uh, you know uh, appreciating tourism in Uganda. Today, I just wanted to show you around, uh, just around this place, Toro Rock, how it is, how it was formed. It was formed, of course, back, back then, before I was even born, but we've been uh, able to go to school, we've been taught about how things actually came into existence. And this is just one of those volcanic uh, rocks. It was, of course, formed as a result of, uh, you know, I don't want to call it eruption, but yeah, something like volcanic eruption. And then the magma formed to have this beautiful, beautiful rock. It is one thing you would not uh, miss seeing once you visit Tororo, uh, Tororo town found in eastern Uganda. Bordering districts like Mbale, uh, Malaba, and of course as you are heading the other side of Kenya. Now this Toro Rock is one of the most beautiful things that has ever happened in this uh, in this town and as a result people have actually built around the rocks I don't know I don't think I would build a house around this area because man what if one rock one day decides to break off and you know uh, come down what would that mean it would mean uh, you know it would mean destruction of property and of course houses and trust me if you're sleeping or you're having your sleep just at the bottom of this uh, Toro Rock, most certainly you'll be destroyed as well. I mean, you would die because those rocks are really, really giant rocks up there. As you can see, people have of course cultivated and I must tell you that land around this area is really, really fertile because it is a mountainous, uh, you know, feature. Now, it has different sides. Now, I'm just on one of the sides, but I'll also be showing you the other side of this Toro Rock. Every year, millions or thousands, okay, let me not say millions, I, will, I won't be specific with the number because I'm not very sure, but thousands of tourists come to this place just to hike this mountain. Now, uh, not a mountain, this rock. Now, hiking this rock will take somebody around, uh, you know, around 45 minutes. But the experience of hiking this, uh, uh, this rock will leave you wanting to come here again because one, it helps people burn calories, but it's a physical, you know, physical, physical activity that many people find, find interesting. And trust me, if I just showed you, uh, I'll, I think I'll get a day, come here and do the, you know, hiking of this mountain or this hill or this rock, whatever you call it. Oh my God, I'm super excited. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, uh, to my social media accounts and follow me, particularly on Instagram at Dennis Duke UG. So let's just take a look around, uh, you know, this Toro Rock. If we happen to get one person, ah, Sean, come. Come on, you come. Let me interview my yeah, guy. Right. Just come be here. Don't worry. So how are you? I'm very fine. How, how do you, you find this rock? Interesting. Okay. It's quite interesting. I've never seen something like this before. Most definitely. Because I'm always in Kampala. Yeah. For those of us who, who've been, you know, to different places in the mountainous areas, we've seen su such stuff. But people like Sean who've been in towns like Kampala. Yes, Kampala has hills, but this... Is an anti hill, I think. I've How been staring ever since I came here. Okay. <laughs> what would you, would you want to construct a house around this place? Not really. I Why? don't think I would. Why? Just like you said, what if a rock comes down? <laughs> <laughs> they woke up one, one morning and the mountain was there, or the rock was there. Okay, let's, let's have a, a simple discussion. Mm. Do you think, what do you think government should do in terms of, you know, helping this area develop? Because as I can see, it's not that well developed. I mean, we would want to see uh, bigger hotels open up in this area. Mm. We would want to see a lot of activities. But there's not a lot of activity going around in this place. In fact, not so many people know about it. In fact, we are from the office, but it looks like it's locked. Yeah, I don't it know if it's because of Corona. But I mean, 
I don't think that is the reason. I've been here before and the place is a bit dormant in terms of activities. What do you think should be done? In uh, your own opinion. I think some work needs to be done. Mm. Some work needs to be done and security must be provided okay. for these Within, people. Oh, for these people? Yeah. Okay. And I think they, they must also be educated about uh, the disadvantages of relocating to this area. Okay. Because any day anything can happen. Anything can happen. And, and as you were well aware that uh, active volcanoes are still erupting, you never know. I don't know whether this is acti an, an active volcano. Uh, I'll need to do a lot more research so that I can give you guys what exactly you need can to Can I go back to my camera? Oh, sure. <laughs> go back. Okay, guys. Uh, something very interesting is that uh, there are animals within this, this, the, the lower part. And the animals include monkeys. And as a result, they keep encroaching on people's property, of course. But I love, I love seeing monkeys. I mean, they are beautiful creatures. So this whole area is a beautiful one. I'll just be showing you around uh, the rock and we see. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Please, I'll get more people if at all I happen to get them. They tell us the experience of living in such an area uh, that is so blessed to have such a, 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 an anthill, I should say. My name is Dennis Duke. Follow me on different social media platforms, particularly on Instagram at Dennis Duke UG. Let me show you around. Don't you go away. Ha, <laughs> ha,